God, we are here to lift the name of Jesus with this song that calls him our worthy God, that calls him worthy, the lamb that was slain for us. So join us as we lift him up today. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we worship you. We bless your name. We thank you, God, for this day that you have made for us. We thank you, Lord, for the gift of life, for family, for salvation, for all that you have done for us. And especially, Lord, for who you are to us, O oh God, our refuge, our strength, our hope. Um, Father, we worship you. This morning, we ask that you may be with us even as we study your word and as we present our request to you my father thank you because your presence is with us and you will continue to uplift us and you continue to strengthen us in jesus name we pray amen and amen good morning and uh, it's yet another week thank you so much for tuning in our focus this week has been hope restored and we have been praying that the lord will restore our hope today we are going to look at hope for a glorious inheritance so turn with me to the book of ephesians chapter 1 verse 18. I pray also that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which he has called you, the riches of his glorious inheritance in the saints. Paul writing to the church in Ephesus, he prays, he makes a prayer and says that I pray also that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened, that they may know the glorious hope, that they may know the hope that they have. And you and I, of course, we all need some hope. And 
we all need to keep renewing our, our minds and to keep growing in the knowledge of Jesus Christ so that we can enjoy him more so that we can we can know what it means to be a child of God you know sometimes a lack of our of, of awareness about what's available to those in the family of God causes us to miss out on the plan of God it causes us to causes us to miss out on the privileges that you and me have in Christ Jesus. It causes us to miss out on even the inheritance and our positions as children of God. And Paul is reminding us today, the Bible is reminding us today that we need to pray that God may enlighten the, the eyes of our hearts so that we may know. You know when you know something and this, this thing that we usually say, when you know, you know, that we may know the hope which God has called us to. And which hope is this that God has called us to? Hope we know is a great anticipation. It is an expectation. It is to look forward to something that we, all, that we know it will happen. We look forward to the promises of God. We look forward to what God has spoken over us as families and even as a nation. And so at this point, as a nation, we need to come together and to know that we have a glorious inheritance, especially for those of us who are in the family of God. And not to lose sight of that because God is faithful, God is for us, His promises are yes and amen, and all things work together for the good of those who, are, who love God and have been called according to His purposes. So this morning, I pray that your hope will be restored. I hope that you will pray earnestly and ask the Lord to enlighten the, the eyes of your heart, that He will open the eyes of your heart, that He will renew your mind. He will renew your love for Him. He will renew your dedication for Him, that we may know what our position is as children of God, who we are as children of God, what we're supposed to do as children of God, even in this season as a nation. Let us pray. Our Father, in Jesus' name, Lord, we worship you, we thank you. We want to pray today, O oh God, that you may open the eyes of our hearts, Almighty Father. Open the eyes of our hearts, that we may be enlightened, that we may know the hope that you have in store for us. God, this week we have been praying and asking you to restore our hope. And we believe, my Father, that you have restored our hope. And we pray today that, Father, may you continue to change our perceptions, O oh God. Continue to change our worldview. Continue to change how we look at life and how we interpret things around us. Open the eyes of our hearts, O oh God. Renew us, my Father. Transform our minds that we may be able to grasp this hope that we have in Christ Jesus, the glorious inheritance that we have in Christ Jesus. Lord God, this morning, we thank you because you have called us your children. You have bought us by your precious blood, O oh God. We thank you that we belong to you. You are our Father. You are our God, my Father. We are not alone. And we praise you, my Father, because in you we have a glorious inheritance. Father, open our hearts and our minds to this reality that we will live our lives knowing that, my Father, all things work together for our good, knowing that your plans for us, oh God, they are good to give us a future and a hope even as a nation. We thank you, my Father, because this morning, my God, we are drawing closer to you that, Lord, do the impossible, change us, oh God, transform us. That is what we ask, my Father, that if you do not help us to know, if you don't enlighten us, oh God, then we will live like people who don't know that which the, privilege, the privileges we have as children of God. Today we desire to know you more. Today we desire to know this hope that you have, that, that we have in Christ Jesus. Today we desire to know, Almighty Father, that you are our God and that which you're speaking to us. So, Father, I pray that you may enlighten our hearts. May you give us a new understanding, O oh God. May you give us a um, new vision, Almighty Father. Open our eyes, open our hearts, O oh God, to see that which you're doing, to perceive that which you're saying to us and that which you're doing in our lives, O oh God. Thank you, my God, for this day. We thank you, my God, for your presence. We thank you for all that you have in store for us ahead of the day. Father, position us to receive your blessing. Father, position us to be a source of hope to our family and friends, to our uh, our 
our colleagues and neighbors, Almighty oh Father, as children of God, my Father, may you use us to shine your light into the darkness, to shine your light, Almighty oh Father, into our areas of influences that people may look to you, Jehovah Master. We thank you, God, and we pray that today may you cover us with your precious blood, may you guide us, may you lead us, O oh God, and may you sustain us, my Father. As your people go out today, we speak your blessings over them, meet them at their point of need, make a way for them, O oh Jehovah. Give us a new song, Almighty God. Surround us with songs of deliverance, my Father, that when the evening comes, we will come to you and say thank you, Lord, for all that you have done for us. So God, we praise you and we thank you for this. We prayed, believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Have a blessed Friday. You are my strength when I am weak. You are the treasure that I seek. You are my all in all. Seeking you as a precious jewel. Lord, to give up. Taking my sin.